Hello, hello. So we are looking at offset today and we want to create knockout text. So here is an example of something you can create with some knockout text. It really is a really cool feature to play with and to make designing just so much more professional looking. So first of all, what we need to do here is to grab some text. Now, normally people do the knockout text with um, the word mummy because it's it's very often something for Mother's Day or for grandmas or something like that. But I'm going to stick to what we have in the Cricut Design Space book, which is the word Cricut. So we've been using the Cricut Design Space Complete Guide where we can find all of the tutorials on how to do absolutely anything and everything in Cricut Design Space. And this is just one of the videos from there. So we've got the word Cricut and I want to choose a nice bold font. Now I don't mind the Cricut Suns, it's quite bold, it looks good, but there's one there that I like a lot more called Oswald. So I'm just going to go and find Oswald by typing in Oswald here. Oops, I must have spelled it wrong. Let's just get rid of some of that. There we go. It's with a D. And I'm going to choose the thickest one here. So I'm just going to click on that. And now we've got a really beautiful big font. I'm going to just make this bigger and I want to move the letters closer together because I find it's easier to read when we've got the um, knockout font running through it that way. So I'm going to go up here to letter space and I'm just going to reduce this down a bit so that I can move them closer. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So now we need to make the inside font. And this font is actually a font from De Font. So the website Defont has got free fonts and it's called I Love Glitter. So it looks like this and you can download it. And then once you've downloaded it, you can go into the folder and install the font. So you install the font to your device. It doesn't actually install to Cricut Design Space. So make sure that once you've installed it, that you refresh Cricut Design Space or you close it and open it back up so that it can load up those new fonts. Now I already have this font and we've got a whole video on how to upload or install fonts to use on Cricut Design Space. So if you need something that moves slower, then go and find that video tutorial to find that. I'm going to click on text and I'm going to write out design space. I'm going to use a few shortcuts here to include some nice flourishes. So I've got a closed bracket a closed bracket that looks like this. Let me just move this down so you can see it better. And then I'm going to write design and I'm going to put in an underscore here and I'm going to write space and then a closed bracket again. Now, again, we've got a video on how to do flourishes and how to add glyphs and stuff like that to Cricut Design Space. So go and check that video out if you need it. These shortcuts work for the glitter font. So I'm going to go up to fonts and I'm going to type in glitter so I can find the I love glitter font. And there it is. I love glitter and I'm going to click on that. And you can see that these shortcuts, the brackets and the underscore has now changed into a nice little swirl here and a nice little heart, which is what I wanted. So now we need to move these letters closer together. So again, I'm going to go up to letter space and move them closer together. And then what I'm going to have to do is to click on ungroup and to just fix them up nicely individually. So really zoom in nicely here so we can make sure we connect in the pieces really well. And then just click on your pieces and bring it over. Now, often what happens to people is that they weld this together and I'll click on well, see if it happens. And the E has colored in. The reason the E has colored in is because the tail of my D is sticking into the hole of the E too much. So I'm going to click on undo. And when that happens, you just need to move your pieces slightly apart. So just separate them out a little bit. Let me just zoom in, see if I can get a better connection here. And then try again. Oh, it's still doing it. I find that this I love glitter font is beautiful, but it really does have quite a few um, finicky stuff. So there we go. Now it's fine. So what you need to do is to go around and just connect all of your letters up as well as what you could. Um, so that we can have a nice flowing font. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I don't need you to watch every step I do here. So I'll meet you once it's fixed up. So once you've got all of your letters connected really nicely, what you want to do is to click and drag a box around all of your letters. And what we need to do is to glue our pieces together. So weld is basically like a glue, but it's a really special glue because it removes any lines that we don't need anymore. So click on weld. And now you will see that we've got one single piece again. So this piece is essentially going to sit in front of the Cricut. So if I make the Cricut, that one's in the back, we're going to place this in front of it. But what we want to do is to make a bit of white space around the letters so that it's really easy to read um, and, and visible on the eye. So I'm going to make this just slightly bigger while I'm here because I like having the little tails extend just in front and behind the word a bit. And now what we need to do is to click on offset and create an offset, which is like a shadow that runs as a border around the word. So you'll see this blue line has popped up and that is your offset line. So I love when I'm doing knockout text to have it at 0.25 to 0.3 sort of a space. And I stick to the corner because I find that it gives me a lot less issues than this straight corner. Um, so I'm going to click on apply. So there we go. So now we've got this offset running around our words that we can use to create the white space that we need. So I'm going to select both of those and drag them up here. Now I'm going to select all my pieces and center them. So just go to align and then center so that it's all aligned. But I actually like to have my um, offset layers a little bit lower than in the center. So I'm just going to select both of these so that I can use the down arrow, keep it in the middle, but I just want to move it down so that I can read the word a bit easier, I think. Oop, maybe a bit up. Maybe somewhere around there. This is personal preference. A lot of people like leaving it in the middle and that's fine too. I think there looks good. So now I'm going to pull off my letters because we don't want that. We can only slice two layers at a time. So if you leave this here and you try and slice all of your layers, it won't be an option. It's grayed out. And the reason is because we can only slice two layers at a time. So I'm going to remove that so that I've only got the offset layer here and the word. I'm going to select both and I'm going to cut this cloudy offset out of the word by using slice. And then I'm going to click on Cricut, pull it to the side, get rid of all of that which I don't need. And now I have my word Cricut and I can place my design space over there. So I can select both again and center align them. Oops, I didn't actually want to do it that way. So select both and then center it horizontally. There we go. I got lost for a second in my brain. So that's basically what our design is going to look like once we start creating. So this is a really easy way to do knockout fonts. However, it doesn't always work perfectly. So sometimes, you might find that you do all of the steps above and issues happen. So number one, here I've done an offset around my word and for some other reason it hasn't done a very good job at all. So um, if I went to offset up here and I wait for it to load, weird things were happening with the offset. Okay, so here we go. This is my offset and I can already see that there's going to be some issues because there's a blue line running from the top to the bottom over here and over here. So I know that this is not going to work. Now I can make this better by going up in size. Usually this helps the problem. But then we start ending up creating so much white space around the word that we're going to lose a lot of the reading ability of the word behind. Let's just see if this even works. Okay, and even at a bigger size, it's not really helping me to fix the issue. So always feel free to play with the slider a bit and see if you can get rid of some of these frustrations. Um, but then also I find that sometimes I do the offset with a word. So let's see what happens when I slice these two. So I'm going to click on slice. 
And weird things are happening with the word home. See how we've got little lines and little bits and pieces sticking out everywhere and it's just not working very efficiently. So even though when it works, it's really easy to create this, when it doesn't work, I highly recommend you go back to the old school method of doing the knockout text with a print then cut hack. And we've got the video for that here as well. So that if you need, if your offset is not cooperating the way you want it to, you can still do your knockout text, but you can do it with that print then cut hack. So I hope this was helpful for you and that you now know how to use the offset feature to create some knockout text so that you can get playing and get creating. And if you needed to grab that book, the Cricut, the complete guide to Cricut Design Space that's got all of these tutorials in it for you. You can find the link in the description, of course. All right, until next time, bye for now.